Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. You're watching Drakewing Gaming. Oh, one moment. And... Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drakewing Gaming. So if you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent, Max's Path. So, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Please sit back and enjoy, everyone. All right. <clears throat> I guess so. Pretty good first impression. I can see why Cody can leave for duty without worrying too much about the tavern. Yeah. Well, let's dig in. Then we can get on with our days. All right. Nom, 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 delicious food. Hmm, what should I do now? You went to check the request board. Unfortunately, all the requests seem to have been taken at this hour. Aw, bummer. It's all right, Cassie. The early bird gets the worm, after all. We can always come back tomorrow. Yeah, I guess so. We can do something else, then. Yep. We can do something else. Huh? Do something else. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna do something else, all right. We're gonna do some gay stuff. All right, let's go to the gym. Okay. Strength. Oh, you want to do our usuals? Sure, let me help you. You and Max went through the usual strength training routine before taking a break. You feel stronger now. Let's go... To endurance. Endurance training. That's more Cody's expertise. But I guess I can show him some stuff he taught me years ago. Try holding this stance no matter what. Don't budge. You and Max went through the basics of a defensive stance and deflecting blunt hints in a fisty cuff. You feel more durable now. What we're gonna do... Agility! Hmm. I'm the most agile person on the team, that'd be wry. But I can show you the basics, I guess. You and Max went through the basics of footwork and obstacles maneuvering before taking a break. You feel more agile now! That's all I can do here for now. Hope you should check my phone and see how the others are doing. Actually, let's, uh... Let's go back. And we're going to load that. And we're just going to do, I guess, uh... We're gonna do the, uh... Yeah, we're gonna do the strength. Okay, then we're going to do the library. Alright. Get to the library. Max followed you along. The public library? I didn't know you were into reading, Cassian. Yeah, well, it's good to read a book once in a while, and we could look for some clues here, right? Clues? Well, sure, I guess. Let's go, then. He picked a book about the wildlife of this land. Max also shared some stories about his times hunting borexes and, and all that, which grabbed your attention more than the book itself. He did learn a few things, though, like how those borexes tend to gather around tall mushroom trees in the denser part of the forest, they do come out to the clearing once in a while. It's kind of nice to know, at least. Are we going to go... Oh, intelligence went up. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess that is technically a form of training. Alright, so we're also going to do... Endurance. There we go. Yeah, we got that endurance going, baby. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, so I can do all of them. Okay, agility. Yeah, let's do that agility. Hell yeah, girl. All right, sweet. I've leveled everything up. Awesome. Let's see. Private broadcast. Who are we going to see? Let's, let's, let's do Max. Dialing. Uh, Cassian, are you calling me right now? Yeah, what's up? Uh, why though? Hmm. I don't know. Just felt like it. Wow, come on. Let's not mess around, Cassian. Okay. Cassian the jokester. Alex. Oh, Cassian. Good afternoon. You seem to be doing all right. Yeah, Alex? Hmm? Thanks for taking care of me while I was out cold. Don't mention it. Plus, I got some good data out of it, so it's not like I didn't benefit from it myself. Oh, well, that's great. Indeed. Hey, Festin. Don't start the procedure without me monitoring it. Ugh, look, Cassian, I'm a bit busy right now, so I'm gonna go hang up, okay? Okay, talk to you later. Damn, he hung up already. We got Ray! Cassian, what's up? You need something? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to say hi. I know you miss me, but from the sounds of it, you're doing pretty fine yourself. I'm kind of busy right now, though, so catch you later, yeah? Okay, talk to you later, Ray. See ya. See ya! Cody, what's the bear up to? Uh, hello? Uh, Cassian? Uh, how are you doing today? Hey, Cody, I'm feeling a lot better thanks to your soup and medicine. That's great to hear. Uh, stay well rested, yes? I do have some business to attend to right now. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you later, Co- Oh, he must have hung up by accident again. Do we have no new messages? I wonder what they're going to use that for. Hmm. 
No requests. Let's go to, uh, where the hell are we supposed to be going? Uh, that's a good question. Where are we supposed to be going, Max? Where are we supposed to be going, Max? Huh? Hmm? Let's, uh, go to the seaside town, I guess. You arrived at the harbor with Max. There wasn't much going on around you as you walked around the place. Just fishermen and merchants going about their usual, going about their business as usual. What can we be look for around here? Not much, probably. Not with us being pretty visible in the public like this. Huh. So would Toby be around here, then? Very likely, but given the stakes, he's probably he probably should remain under the radar. Right. Can a guy like him really be that stealthy, though? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Well, he's not exactly the leanest guy, if you catch my drift. Ah, I see what you mean. He should... You'd be surprised that being sneaky has little to do with your form. Take Rye, for example. He's a pretty big guy himself, and yet a lot of times back in the Academy, he scared a lot of people because they never even saw him coming. But really? Yep. So, yeah. I see. Uh, about Toby, he's Alaric's son, right? Yeah, he's very no it's very noticeable. Like, two peas in a pod? Maybe not that similar, but you get my point. Why do you ask, though? Oh, nothing, just something that piqued my interest is all. Oh, alright then. He made a few more rounds around the harbor before deciding it was time to move on. Looks like you're done here. Better check up on the others. Let's go to the seaside. You've arrived at the beach. Like the other days, there were almost no one at the beach this time. Almost no one at the beach this time. Hmm. <laughs> Except for maybe a few people taking a stroll and resting here and there. After walking around for a bit, you notice a shark coming towards you. Oh, hello, you must be, uh, Finn, right? That's me, and you're Max, aren't you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Likewise. So, coming here. So, you coming. So, you coming here. Must be for investigations, yes? Sure, something along that line. You still patrolling the beach? Yep. Ray was going with me for a bit, but he bugged out a while ago now. Huh. He must have gone off to do something else. Could be. Ah, oh, Cassian. How do you do? Hey, Finn. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, we met the other day when I visited Ray on the beach. Huh, I see. So... Any news from the headquarters, Max? It's been awful quiet these few days. Hmm. No, nothing that I know of. Oh, well. We should be going back to duty, then. You two take care now. See ya! See ya! With that, the shark jogged off to the other end of the beach. I don't know what the hell's going on with my accent for Finn. It feels like I'm trying to do halfway between a Jamaican and an Irish accent. Uh, I don't know if that works for him. Guys, let me know if, the, if you like that voice for him. I don't know. I don't want to do like stereotypically like Jamaican because like he's because like um, he's like uh, he, I guess he like if I were to place um, a point of origin maybe in like regular Earth I'd say he, he kind of strikes me as someone who might be like from the Bahamas or something like that. Um, it's yeah, that's kind of the accent I want to give him, you know. I don't know why. I want Finn to be like. A Bahamian? Bahamanian? Bahamian. Yeah. <coughs> oh, bless me. Ugh. Or shit, he could be from Jamaica for all I know, or any other kind of those small islands out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> There's lots of them. Well, I guess we're done here as well. Let's leave, Cassian. Sure, let's go. It seems like the beach is clear. Better check out on the others. Okay, let's see where do we go. That is the castle, I guess. I don't know what that is. Is that a castle or something? Okay. Market! Let's go see Cody. You arrived at the market with Max. We went for a couple of rounds around the market district. It was even less crowded this time around compared to the other day. Oh, people are doing okay these days. They'll manage. They always do. We just need to guarantee their safety. It's our duty, yeah? Yep, let's go, Cassie. We still got the other side of the district to check. All right. It seems there's nothing more that you can do here. Better check out on the others. Alright, so let's go to the... Cave. You made your way to the old mines outpost with Max. You can see the same guards from yesterday. Good day! Ah, good day to you. Oh, hey, you're the one that helped us yesterday. Thank you again, lad, and you too, Sir Max. All in a day's work, people. How are things now? Oh, couldn't be better, sir. The warehouse is now secure, just a bit more reorganizing, and we'll be good to go. We're also increasing the slime culling quota per day. 
That should help. That should hopefully keep their numbers in check. Sounds about right. Don't kill too many of them, though. We still need something to take care of our trash. Understood, sir. Come on, let's go back to the shipment, yeah? Aye, let's go. Well, looks like they're doing fine today. We should head elsewhere, Cassian. Sure. It seems that you're done here. Better check out on the others. Alright. So, I don't know where Ray went. Huh. Guardian Crystal it is. He arrived at the Veteran Park with Max. Hmm. I can still smell some of the nether traces, but it's really faint now. Oh? Y y I don't think I... God, I don't think I can smell anything at all. Should we go for a round first, still? Good call. Let's. There weren't a lot of people around the park at this hour. Only some of the mercenaries were coming in and out of their, out of their guard duty shifts. So far, there hasn't been anything noteworthy. Not asking the people around... Not asking the people there would, would do much help, so you decided to sit down at a nearby bench. Hmm. Max, you alright? What's on your mind? Um, I'm okay, just... I've been having some things on my mind. What is it? I'm just a bit concerned. Why am I only picking up the nether scent now? My nose should have been able to detect that a long time ago. Maybe it was that hard to notice. Hmm. Maybe it's not that simple as we think. You did only sense it when there weren't as many people around, right? I guess so. What about it? Wait, so many people around might have masked the scent. Yep, and let's not forget, I once I once heard that that our that our nose can sometimes ignore a smell if we'd been exposed to it too much. It's so that we can pick up any new weird smell that comes around. At least that's how I understand it. Hmm. That does make a lot of sense. The scent must have laid dormant all these years. It's only brought to the forefront lately with fewer people around due to the incident. Yep, that's right. So don't feel too bad about it yourself, Max. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, huh, it's nothing, just... Thanks a lot, Cassian. Huh, it's kind of a relief, knowing that it's not always my own fault this whole time. Yeah, not always. It's good to take a step back and, and reassess the case, don't you agree? Yeah, couldn't agree more. I think I'm gonna get some food now. You want some too, Cassian? Oh, sure. Yeah, boy. That love went up. Max didn't take long to come back with a few paper cups of fries, but instead of potatoes, it's Yamato's. Here you go. Thanks, Max. You took a cup for yourself and began eating. Mmm. Mm, mm. Oh, that's a lot of Yamato's. Yeah, it's a lot of carbs and starch for the average Merc diet. But truth be told, it's my comfort food. It was his favorite, too. Uh, huh? I his favorite? Yeah, my younger brother. Oh, you have a little brother? Yeah, I guess I don't really ever talk about him, huh? We always spent time together as kids, and we were, we were both grown ups. We'd often see each other and catch up over snacks. He always asked me to buy those Zumato fries, sometimes chips, too. So you were close then? So you were close, huh? Yeah, only family I had around these parts. He kind of idolized me, really. When I became one of the top mercenaries, he also joined the guild's reconnaissance team in my footstep. So what happened? I still don't really know. Last time we spoke was before we were sent away in separate operations, maybe two years ago. His recon team went missing. We've never seen or heard from him since then. I'm sorry to hear, Max. I hope he's still doing all right out there. Maybe one day he'll return to Crystal Coast safe and sound. Heh. <laughs> That's some wishful thinking, all right. It's all right, Cassie, and I've already made peace with his absence. Maybe one day he'll return, but I won't bank on it too much. All right, that's enough moping. Let's eat up before it gets cold, all right? All right, sounds like a plan. After finishing up your meal, you and Max headed back to the guild together. Oh. You both headed to the tavern for dinner. Max seemed to have agreed to meet up with Toby there. You noticed that they were speaking in a rather cryptic manner, almost in tongues even. But they weren't in, but they weren't interested in explaining, so you never raised the question. Just as before, Ashford seemed rather rather wary of your presence, though you couldn't really tell why. His demeanor was still the same as ever. And yet something about him seemed off. Like he was swinging by your table more frequently. You would trust your gut feeling on this, but you decided to just let it slide. Afterwards, you returned to your dorm room. You, shug you sluggishly closed the door as you got in. You've had a long day and your body was still quite sore from all the activities. You spent a bit of time cleaning up before taking the medicine Cody gave you and headed straight to bed. Ah, fuck, to be continued. Alright, guys, I guess we have currently reached the end of Cody's path. Not Cody, Max's path. Ah, oh, man. 
These updates need to be meatier. They need more content. I'm getting through them so quickly. Ah, uh, but okay. Let's see if there's anything at the end there. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's still cute, though. Yay, look at all these people. Alright, guys. I guess that's gonna about do it. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Give a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!